Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about Chemical Engineering Gate 2018 Chemical Reaction Engineering Questions with Solution. Gate 2018 Question Paper and the Answer Key link is available in my description box. You can download it. Question number 33. In a laboratory batch setup, reaction of P over a catalyst was studied at various temperatures. The reactions occurring are P gives 2Q and P gives R. At the end of one hour of operation, the batch contains Xp, Xq and the Xr mole fraction of P, Q and R components respectively. The mole fraction of product components Xq and Xr were found to vary linearly with the temperature as given in the figure. So refer this figure in Y axis mole fraction X x axis temperature t in degree celsius here xr and xq is a mole fraction of product components if the yield of q based on reactant p consumed at 25 degree celsius was found to be 0.40 so yield of q at 25 degree celsius is equal to 0.40 Objective of this question is to determine the yield of Q at 60 degree Celsius. After calculating the yield of Q at a 60 degree Celsius value, we have to round off the result to two second decimal place. Data. So we have two reaction. This is a parallel reaction and catalytic reaction. P gives 2Q and P gives R. So here Xp is a mole fraction of P that is reactant component. Xq and Xr are mole fraction of Q and R. These are the product components. Product components linearly vary with temperature. So yield of Q at 25 degree Celsius is equal to 0 0.40. Objective of this problem is to determine the yield of Q at 60 degree Celsius. So here we have two equation one is P gives 2Q another one P gives R. So here initially is a P naught here this is small q. Stoichiometry of this reaction P naught minus Q by 2. So here initially is a P naught here this is capital R is a R. Stoichiometry of this equation P naught minus R. Are you clear? Okay. So here the stoichiometry already I said this is P naught minus Q by 2. P gives 2Q equation, P gives R reaction, this P naught minus small r. Number of moles of P, Q and R. So the P component number of moles P naught minus Q by 2 minus R. So the capital Q small q, capital R small r. These are the number of moles of individual component P, Q and R. Total number of moles, summation of component P, Q and R. So the P component P naught minus small q by 2 minus R, Q component small q, R component small r. So which one is a cancel here? Minus R plus R is a cancel. So here 1 q is there, here half q is there, minus half q. So here 1 minus q by 2, that is plus q by 2. So finally total number of moles P naught plus q by 2. So yield of q, so the q formed divided by P consumed. So here the Q formed mean that is small q. So P consumed. P consumed mean here in this reaction Q by 2 in this reaction small r. So the addition of these two Q by 2 plus r. This is consumed. Consumption. So here yield of Q is equal to. So the numerator part multiply and divided with total number of moles. The value cannot change. The numerator is P naught plus Q by 2 divided by P naught plus Q by 2 into small q. So denominator also multiply and divided with total number of moles P0 plus Q by 2 divided by P0 plus Q by 2. Value cannot change. So here which one is a cancel? P0 plus Q by 2. Here P0 plus Q by 2. The terms are cancel. Are you clear? Okay. So rest of the term Q by P0 plus Q by 2 whole divided by Q by 2 plus R divided by P0 plus Q by 2. 
so this q by 2 divided by p naught plus q by 2 plus r divided by p naught plus q by 2 so this equation can be written as so q by 2 divided by p naught plus q by 2 plus r divided by p naught plus q by 2 are you clear okay so here the individual divided by total moles so this is the mole fraction now individual mole divided by total mole so here the individual moles is a small q total mole is a p naught plus q by 2 in numerator part this is mole fraction of capital q x q so here similarly q by 2 divided by p naught plus q by 2 this is also that is a x q individual divided by total are you clear okay so small r divided by p naught plus q by 2 this is called as a uh, x r okay this is mole fraction of the or individual divided by total so this is mole fraction is a x x r so x q divided by x q plus x r so here x q divided by x q plus x r so i because individual divided by uh, total number of moles that is the mole fraction of q divided by mole fraction of q plus mole fraction of r that is equal to yield of q so now we want x q and x r value so once you know this value easily find out the yield of q expression so from graph so refer the graph in previous slide yeah so in this slide so we have uh, two product components one is x r another one is a x q so take a slope here so generally slope slope is a m r so that is a slope m r is a slope so here our component slope now the generally m is a slope our components mean this is designated as m r slope is equal to dy by dx so dy by dx mean this is a y axis x r x r divided by dy by dx dx value that is a t temperature now so m r is equal to x r by t similarly in another product component q so here take the slope so this slope also denoted as mq mq is equal to so here xq this is a dy divided by dx dx is a t so slope first uh, linear line here this is the xr component this is a xq component xr component take a slope slope is equal to dy by dx xr by t so xq component slope is a mq is equal to x q by t are you clear so here from the graph so this section what is a, a slope value here yeah so mq is equal to x q by t mr is equal to x r by t are you clear so here from this we want x q and x r now so x q is equal to the cross multiply m q into t so x r is equal to M, m r into t similarly the same value so yield of q yield of q x q divided by x q plus x r now substitute here x q value m q into t whole divided by m q into t plus m r into t which one is a common term take outside capital t is a common term t into m q divided by t into m q plus m r so here yield of q is equal to m q divided by m q plus m r so uh, check this equation so in this expression yield of q independent of temperature no temperature um, relation here is right so yield of q independent of temperature so that's why yield of q will be equal for any temperature so the given data yield of q at 25 degree celsius is 0 0.40 but the question is to determine the yield of q at 60 degree celsius so from this relation from this yield of q relation we come to know yield of q independent of temperature that's why the yield of q will be equal for any temperature so yield of q at 60 degree celsius is equal to yield of q 25 degree celsius or yield of q at any temperature so that's why yield of q at 65 de 60 degree celsius is equal to 0 0.40 so answer for this question is yield of q at 60 degree celsius is equal to 0 0.40 are you clear yeah next question question number 39 a CSTR and a PFR of equal volume are connected in series as shown below 
to carry out a first order isothermal liquid phase reaction so order is a first order constant temperature liquid phase reaction so cstr and pfr volume is a equal volume both are connected in series so the equation or reaction a gives p this is a first order reaction and constant temperature liquid phase reaction so here this is a cstr connected with pfr in series so here the initial concentration is a ca not final concentration is a caf so what is the final concentration of a cstr we don't know we are going to calculate so that final concentration of cstr is a initial concentration of pfr so the rate constant is 0.2 second power minus 1 this is the first order rate constant the space time tau is equal to 5 second for both the reactors so both cstr and pfr the overall fractional conversion of a is objective of this problem to determine the overall fractional conversion of a that is xa after calculating the xa value we have to round off the result to third decimal place data so as per the problem this is the first order reaction minus ra is equal to k into ca so the reaction is a gives p this is isothermal or constant temperature liquid phase reaction reaction is a gives p so the k is a first order rate constant 0.2 second power minus 1 space time 5 second both react so objective of this question is to determine the overall fractional conversion of a it is denoted as xa so the solution part so refer this diagram the initial concentration ca not of cstr the final concentration here caf so for this case caf is a final concentration na this final concentration also uh, equal to ca so generally ca is a final concentration here f is denoted as a final okay so you don't worry about the ca and ca is both are equal so the first reactor is a cstr so we should take cstr so the tau is equal to ca not minus ca by minus ra this is a performance equation so the ca not minus ca by minus ra is a rate of reaction so as per the problem we have first order reaction we should take k into ca so what is the tau value tau values are given that is a space time phi again phi is equal to ca not minus ca divided by k what is the k value here k is the rate constant 0.2 into ca so this is the equation so from this rearrange this expression so ca uh, here uh, phi into 0.2 na so here that is ca is equal to ca not minus ca so here ca plus ca mean that is 2 ca is equal to ca not so ca mean ca not divided by 2 that is 0.5 ca not so here ca is equal to 0.5 ca not so refer this diagram so in this case so how it is come this 0.5 ca not mean so final value of ca 0.5 ca not from the performance equation of cstr 0.5 ca not this is a ca from this expression na so from this expression phi into 0.2 that is 1 ca is equal to ca not minus ca so this ca come to this side mean 2 ca is equal to ca not so from this ca is equal to ca not divided by 2 that is a 0.5 ca not here this is a ca value from cstr are you clear so this is the initial concentration of the pfr so next we are going to take the second reactor that is pfr so the pfr performance equation tau is equal to minus integration of ca not to ca dca by minus ra minus integration of already i said the final concentration of cstr is a initial concentration of pfr so general equation ca not to ca this is initial 0.5 ca not final is a ca or ca both are equal final concentration dca by minus ra i mean this is the first order reaction we should take k into ca so the tau value sir both reactor is the same we should take phi second so phi is equal to minus integration of 0.5 ca not to ca dca by k into ca so here phi is equal to minus integration of 0.5 ca not to ca dca by 
what is the k value here k is given data na so this 0.2 into ca so here which one is a constant term minus 1 by 0.2 is a constant term take outside integration of 0.5 ca naught to ca dca by ca so here 5 into 0.2 that is 1 here minus of dca by ca integration ln ca limit is a 0.5 ca naught to ca so here uh, minus is outside na so upper limit minus lower limit upper limit mean minus ln ca minus 1 uh, here minus sign is there outside so upper limit mean ln ca minus is there minus ln ca upper limit minus lower limit mean minus into minus plus ln of 0 0.5 ca naught so finally ln a minus ln b ln a by b ln of 0 0.5 ca naught divided by ca that is equal to 1 so here uh, remove the learn what do you do here take exponential both side e power 1 is equal to so here ln cancel 0 0.5 c naught divided by ca so e power 1 is a 2.718 so the rhs side 0.5 c naught by ca so from this what is a ca value c is equal to 0 0.1839 into c a naught this is the final concentration but our objective to determine the um, fractional conversion that is a uh, percentage conversion value na uh, percentage conversion mean that is a xa value so here uh, we know the ca naught and ca value na so here xa formula x is equal to ca naught minus ca by ca naught so ca naught you take ca naught ca value calculated value na refer the previous slide 0 0.1839 into ca naught divided by ca naught which one is a common term take outside in numerator part ca naught 1 minus 0 0.1839 divided by ca naught which one is a cancel here c a naught c a naught is a common term the cancel finally we get x a is equal to 0 0.8161 this is a percentage conversion so in terms of percentage mean x a is equal to 81.6 percentage so here round off this result x a is equal to 82 percentage or 0 0.82 so answer range is given 0 0.80 to 0 0.84 are answer within this range okay so for further related videos you can like share and subscribe my channel thank you